Burkholderia co covenanins, a food pathogen you might not have heard of. While there are hundreds of thousands of species of bacteria currently known to science, there, there are less than 250 bacterial species that cause foodborne illness. At least those are the ones we know about. I stumbled across a species that was new to me the other day and I thought it might be new to you too. So let me introduce to you Burkholderia cocovenanins or more properly Burkholderia gladioli uh, pathovar cocovenanins and it was formerly known as Pseudomonas cocovenanins. When Burkholderia cocovenanins grows in food it can produce a toxin that is both a food poisoning toxin and a respiratory toxin called von Krekic acid. Coconut-based and corn-based products have been implicated in outbreaks in Indonesia, China and Mozambique. Now, this is pretty new. The epidemiological literature for foodborne outbreaks it, um, dates from 2015 to 2019. Eating food that has had uh, Burkholderia cocovenanins growing in it and that contains von Krekic acid will cause food poisoning. The symptoms are abdominal pain, diarrhea, vomiting, weakness, palpitations and death. Outbreaks have mortality rates in the region of 50%. That is, half the people who have eaten contaminated foods have died. The boncrechic acid toxin is odourless, tasteless and heat stable. Yowch! Outbreaks include 9 dead from homemade soup containing fermented corn, that was in 2020 in China. Five dead from eating commercially produced rice noodles, which were not fermented or noticeably spoiled, 2018 China. And 75 dead from fermented beverage made from corn flour, and that was in Mozambique in 2015. The main parent species of uh, Burkholderia cocovenanins, and that the main species is Burkholderia gladioli, is found throughout the world and is considered to be environmentally ubiquitous. It's been isolated from corn, rice, onions, palm fruits, soil and water. The pathogenic strain, Burkholderia uh, cocovenanins, is also ubiquitous in plants and soil and has been isolated from developed nations including the United States, although no foodborne outbreaks have occurred there. High-risk foods are those that contain fatty acids that promote formation of the toxin, including coconut and corn. The toxin is produced at temperatures of 22 to 30 degrees Celsius and in foods with a neutral pH. How to prevent Burkholderia cocovenanins and von Krekic acid hazards in foods? There is not a lot of literature, but it appears that usual food hygiene and sanitary precautions will assist to prevent von Krekic acid formation. Carefully controlling fermentations, protecting food and ingredients from contact with soil, unclean water and unclean surfaces, ensuring pH is low enough in fermentation processes, high risk food should be held and stored at proper temperatures and not left warm or at room temperature, soaking high risk foods like fungus should be done in the refrigerator. For consumers, the Singapore Food Safety Agency has a food safety fact sheet to help people protect themselves from boncrechic acid poisoning. Here are a couple of fun facts. Well, actually not fun, but interesting anyway. Coconut tempi boncrec uh, is a fermented food made from coconut. It's considered so risky that its production and sale is banned in Indonesia. The toxin's ability to inhibit important enzymes in mitochondria that are necessary for cell energy and life makes it a potentially powerful drug. It has antibiotic properties and has been studied for its ability to prevent cell death or ap apoptosis. And the source, as always, is in the email. <laughs>